In March 2018, I began restoring an area of coral reef in Nusa Penida, Bali. At Blue Corner Dive, we've been diving these reefs since 2011. And during that time, I've been doing reef health monitoring surveys in this area with my students and the marine park. Over the years, the healthy coral reefs of Nusa Penida began to show impacts and signs of degradation with dead rubble patches forming. These rubble patches seem to be not recovering naturally, but rather expanding in size. So a few years ago, I began putting together a restoration plan for some of these areas. With the team of Blue Corner Conservation and Dive Master students, I mapped out some of the rubble areas and prioritized which reefs were most in need of restoration. I took this video footage of Centel Reef prior to starting the restoration project at the start of 2018. The reef by that time had become a barren desert of dead rubble, with old eroded coral skeletons creating a flat wasteland with no habitat for fish or marine invertebrates. Rubble tumbled in the currents and eroded neighboring areas of reef. Centel Reef was not a place that anybody wanted to dive anymore. In March of 2018, I began installing the first frames in these rubble areas. With the help of my students and volunteers, I transplanted several species of coral upon these frames with the hope that the coral would grow above the rubble and begin to form habitat for marine organisms. Over time, more frames were added we were slowly able to build more frames with financial help from some of Blue Corner's diving guests who generously donated frames, as well as workshops and a bit of private and personal funding. Our budget is still quite small, but we transplant as much coral as we can any chance we get. In the last three years, we've put out over 300 frames and transplanted over 15,000 coral fragments out onto the reef uh, from our coral nursery. This same area of reef that only three years ago was a barren rubble desert is now becoming covered with coral growth. As the transplanted coral has grown, many fish and other marine species have moved in. The area is teeming with life again. And if this area can continue to be protected, it will just keep improving. These transplanted corals will continue to grow and fill in the spaces between the frames. The idea of transplanting coral is to stimulate the reef to begin naturally recovering on its own. Once the habitat structure has formed, more corals can settle into the area and more fish are attracted to that area. With some help, then the ecosystem begins to recover. Although I've now done over 600 dives at Centaur Reef, it's become one of my favorite places to dive in the marine park, but of course I might be biased towards that.